The gentleman that I'm going to be bringing forward in a few minutes, I just met personally a few minutes ago, Jeff Sullivan. He's a visionary artist and musician. He um, does amazing, amazing, uh, sacred, sacred art that we're going to talk about. His art was featured on our March, April 2020 issue of Epic Tri County. Behind me, it is absolutely one of my favorite covers. I probably say that about all of them, but really, I'll never forget, and this is what I'm gonna share with you. I'll never forget being introduced to Jeff. I walked into Chip Downer's um, place down in New Britain. I was uh, introduced to Chip, again, collaborating. That's how everything works. I walked into one of his uh, treatment rooms, healing rooms, whatever you wanna call it, and there was this amazing piece of art. Amazing. It almost, it, it didn't almost, it did. It drew me in. It is a universe. It was a universe and is a universe within itself. And that universe hanging on the wall in Chip's uh, place drew me in. And I said to him, I said, who did that? Who is the artist? And he said, well, that's Jeff. He's a really cool guy in Connecticut. I said, you got it. We got to collaborate with him. He's amazing. His art is beautiful. It's alive. It's vibrating with love and peace. I'm getting angel bones just talking about it. And that's who I have to share with you today is Jeff Sullivan. Wait till you see the art when you visit his website. Wait till you see the art behind him. Okay. Not only is he an artist, he is grounded. He is full of wisdom. This is the energy that I felt when I just connected with him a few minutes ago. He's a visionary. And he is the like, poster child of epic and the vibration of empowerment and inspiration. So give me a second. I'm going to bring Jeff forward. And as always, I ask that we give him some epic love and epic light. So let's bring Jeff forward. Yes. There you are. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good Thank morning. you for that beautiful introduction. My goodness. <laughs> You're welcome. I speak from here, similar to the um, art that you have behind you. You know, it's, it's right from there that uh, my introductions um, flow, flow, you know? You can feel it, you can feel it. Yeah, it's like one of my favorite parts, you know? We had talked earlier, I don't really like to be scripted. Um, mm -hmm. And um, speaking from the moment and the heart is really, what um i thrive on so thank you for sharing your energy with us um i'm excited to hear about a little bit more about who you are jeff and how your journey has evolved to where you are now if you could share that with us we appreciate it and receive it with honor thank you um i'm also a very improvisational person by nature as well so Scripts, straight lines, not so good with those. <laughs> yeah, as a child, I was always very creative. I enjoyed operating from a very magical, mythological, and imaginary world. Um, always had a deep connection with nature and animals. Um, as I reached early adulthood, I started experimenting with my consciousness, as teenagers do. Um, and I was fascinated how those little subtle changes impacted my drawing. Um, very, very interesting stuff. Um, so I got a little older after high school, I started studying music. I enrolled into the Harvard Conservatory, studied music and percussion um, in particular. And um, I was pursuing a path in, in music until that was halted by a very <clears throat> serendipitous event of being a father, which is very exciting as well as terrifying. So, um, you know, I had to put my creative life on a shelf and seek work to provide for myself and my family. Um, I started working in the human service field, taking care of severely disabled and often violent and dangerous individuals. After years of this life of you know, very stressful servitude, uh, coupled with a loveless and dysfunctional existence, it engendered in me an almost nihilistic perspective, um, you know, addictive mind patterns, substance abuse, uh, depression, illness was a regulatory operating system at that time. It was very, very difficult. Um, 
existence. Um, you know, I had reached a place where I couldn't, I couldn't live like this anymore. Uh, my creative engine was crippled because of the stress and the dysfunction of the situation. Um, I made a decision to subject my consciousness into a medicinal and hallucinogenic state. <clears throat> um, within this state, I had a near-death mystical experience. Um, within this experience of death and release from all narratives and any sense of self, mind and body, I entered into a golden realm without end, um, which what felt like went on for like 10,000 years, uh, incredibly beautiful and terrifying. And upon my resurrection, I had received this felt presence of divine experience. I felt new um, and complete. And it seemed all these creative switches were beginning to turn on again. Like they used to when I was a child. Um, not long after, I, I started making art again. I started painting. Um, working in this, this new style, which I adopted from these transcendental realms. Um, and, you know, the, the artwork, I feel, are, are fertile seeds of creation, functioning as cells in a loving universe of these refracting rainbow mosaics. And I am truly honored and grateful to be able to share them with the world.